Hello everybody and welcome back to Final Fantasy VIII. Apparently I didn't hit the record button a moment ago, which I thought I did. So we're hunting Tom Berries. This should be the last Tom Berry we have to fight. And uh, Diablos is a beast at killing Tom Berries. And you'll get to see Cactuar. This might actually just kill him right now. Let's see. Oh, okay. Either Cactuar or Heavy... Or, uh, Holy Judgment should. I'll let Cactar do it if he doesn't. I don't know if Diablos will hurt the Tonberry King because he's an optional boss, so who knows. I turned it down a slight, a bit more. It was at 3%, now it's at 2%. Hopefully it sounds better. Because, yeah, I'm not even joking about that volume either. This is at 2% of the game's natural volume. And I, in fact, have my game audio, usually turned up by OBS, to 110%. So, yeah. I'll let Cactor do it. Actually, just in case. And that's Cactor. It's pretty sweet. And this should spawn the Tonberry King, and we can't mug him. Yeah, so let's see if Diablos even can hurt him. If Diablos can't hurt him, um, I don't actually remember his HP. Oh, I saw it on the wiki and I didn't pay attention. No. If Diablos can't hurt him, um, we might be in a little bit of trouble. So he also does an a attack that the Tonberries do, which uh, damages us based on how many enemies we have killed times 30. So it hits Squall for like 3,000, it hits everybody else for like 100. The Squall's the only one that oh, doesn't hurt him. Oh shit. Okay. Um, this is a real fight now. Oh look at this tiny little knife and this tiny little lantern. Um. Uh, let's scan him. I don't remember what he's weak to. I think it says they're weak to light. And Alexander doesn't do a whole lot yet, even though he has like 20%. So, we'll see. It does 2,000. That's respectable. Tiny little lantern. Aww. So what are you weak to? Oh, apparently if you hold X, it will skip through this too. Because I did that once before. Oh good, you have question, 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 slash, question, 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 question mark, hell. Cool. Um, King of the Tonberries appears to seek revenge for all defeated Tonberries. Awesome. You have higher defense than you do spirits, so you are weaker to magic. Okay, good to know. So you know what I should do. Oh, I can draw full lives from you. Is it worth the risk? Ooh, I know he's like one of the only characters I can draw full life from. Should I just uh, skip through this then? Hmm. I'll skip until I'll draw and I'll skip through it until uh, he kicks my ass, and then I'll get back to you guys. So see you in a seco. Ooh. Uh-oh, kiss this, don't die. Cool. We're basically done, um, drawing from him. So who do you have? You have Carbuncle. I would like to wait. Okay. Squall, do you need any more? No, okay. I need, I think it's kiss this? Yes, I want to do this first. Then I want to do Carbuncle. Then... We'll wait a moment. I thought this up. We'll use Cerberus to do triple. Kiss this. Yeah. So before 
we have to reflect. Alright, and now we'll do triple magic shit on him. Triple. Let's do some fire rockas on him. Triple. The carbuncle's just for good measure. Just to make sure he doesn't do any bullshit on us like cast death. Because hopefully he can't. I don't know. He does have death. Time berries are known for that too, just straight up one-shotting people pretty often. I've even experienced that. Did less than I was hoping. A little less. I haven't used magic in a long time though, so let's see. It still did good damage, actually. Hmm. Uh, triples. Fire Rockas. Magic. Can we just do strip triples the whole time? I thought I only had, like, one of each. Oh my god, can I just do triple, triple, triple for, like, ever? Oh my god, Serpers is so fucking good if that's the case. Does it work with draws too? Can I draw? Wow. Can I draw magic and do it? If I can, that's sweet. Well, he's taken quite a beating so far. Oh shit. Ah, just some pottery and stuff. Hmm. It doesn't confuse us good. I was worried about that for a second. I probably should be using um Thundaga on Kistis and Blizzard or Blizzaga on Squall. Eh. I'll do that actually. Because of uh, the elemental attribute thing. I think casting the opposite magic makes your GF dislike you more. And it makes a GF that likes you, or that has that attribute, like you more, essentially. God, Tom Bears is so fucking cool, man. And I know the GFs do slightly less damage, because they take more time and they summon animation. Summons are cool, dude. Like, it's one of the reasons I liked Final Fantasy. Oh shit. Okay. That had a weird effect. Also, yeah, you have him. Okay. There we go. This way, Zell gets reputation with Ifrit, Squall gets reputation with Shiva, and Kisses gets more reputation with. Or favor, or whatever. With uh, Quetzalcoatl. You know what I wish I had? I wish we had a GF that would heal us. Carbuncle's probably the closest that we have. And he's useful, I do like him. He actually is good. He has a very good use, honestly. It's just, when we have Reflect, I don't know how to heal us, other than giving Toddberry Reflect and then healing him. So, yeah. I mean, we're doing some fucking insane damage. Maybe I should try to scan him. No, it probably wouldn't show me his health. I mean, the um, Gigatar had like... 50,000 health or something. But we're doing about a thousand each magic strike, so. Let's see, we've done about three sets with each of them for 3,000 ish. So, about 30,000 already. Around there. Give or take. Probably, probably take more. Probably did like 28,000 already. Plus these ones even. The squall is hitting for like eight seventies. So, eh. 
the triple is just so nice, man. I would not take a turn to cast triple on every single person, though, with my own magic. But Cerberus is good at it. And this Tom Bear has not gotten to do jack f all. So we're getting pretty close to the end of the game. I know there's four discs um, in Final Fantasy VIII. Was there four or three? I think there was three discs in Final Fantasy VII. I want to say there was three. I owned it at one point. It's just really hard to remember that far back. Man, I, you know, I really do miss having multiple discs for a single game. There was just something cool about it. Like you opening up the game case and then pulling open that like extra little slide and seeing the second game and then like the up the third game or the third disc on like the back part. There's just something nostalgic about that. Man, we're whooping the fuck out of him. Which is good because I can't heal us, because the carbuncle. Which I'd rather have Carbuncle than uh, the thought of him doing like something like death than having to heal us or revive us. Which we're very close to death, but the nice thing is even if he kills us we lose Reflect. So if that happens, it's okay. Hmm. No, because I'd have to worry about the GF's health. The only one who does enough damage to the Timeberry King would probably be, um, Cactar. Because he does a set number, a set amount of damage. Actually, can he hurt bosses? I think he can probably hurt bosses. Diablos does a percentage of their overall health, which is freaking strong. I can understand why you wouldn't be able to do that to bosses. Cactar does a set amount of damage based on... I don't know. So. But he will always do 2,000 and 3,000 so far. Spoiler, I summoned him before the recording. Also because, you know, thought we were recording. But he summons 3,000 now. And he summoned 2,000 before. So I know he at least does certain amounts of a uh, 1,000 threshold. Oh, Kisses could have done some badass magic. We'll do that next round if we can. Man, he is beefy. Like, 16 minutes in, just beating the shit out of this guy. Man, Timeberry King, you are real damn sturdy. You must have like 150k health. Because I feel like we've at least done almost 100k. He might have 99999. No, I think they can have over 100, 100k. Hmm. Let's scan him again. See if it will tell us how much health he has if he's at a percentage. Like below 50% you can see his health. And we're also burning through so much of our um, god magic. God damn. 
We can beat you. I know we can. Alright. So you have 33,000. I didn't mean... I didn't do that. Um, magic, triple. Okay. No, triple and Blazaga. I did, um, use some of that am amnesiac greens and get rid of some of our GF's abilities. Basically the ones that I would never use ever that are useless. Also ones that would are like command abilities like magic draw, um, GF card, other things like that that I have to set into the character and then use in battle. Ones that I basically wouldn't ever use. So even ones that we've learned I've gotten rid of. Not all of them though. Oh and I got rid of item on every single GF. Because I'm not really going to use items. I'm going to use magic. It's just kind of like how I do, how I like doing Final Fantasies. I like the magic. I never really liked the the physical combat as much. Now, when you do like badass physical art bullshit, like um, Squall does with his sword, that's cool. When Zell goes in frickin' boxing and, and crushing the like ground and everything, that's awesome. When they just run up and slap them, or when they run over and like, you know, slash them and like poke them with the spear, eh, not as interesting. It doesn't have as much of an allure. Oh, shit. Well, we can heal. Do I heal? I'll... I'll... Hmm. I'll have Zell heal. No, I'll have uh, Squall heal. I don't know if it's because we're beating the crap out of him so badly that he's not getting to do anything. But this fight is more comedic than I expected. Especially with Tonberry. The Tonberry king of all creatures. Man, I've played Final Fantasy 13 and 13 2 and I've gotten my ass one shot by Tonberries and had to struggle through with reviving and then getting one shot and then reviving that person and then getting one shot again. Oh, that's bad. Double Cura. No, Zell. And Zell use a single. Actually, good point. Draw full life, cast, kiss this. So I can't do doubles with draws. Okay, and it heals. That's interesting. Ooh. Okay. And you're fine, actually. Not Demi's, god no. I think Demi's would actually work on him, though. I think they do. Oh, Shrite, she died. She doesn't have a triple. Okay, that's fine. We don't need it anymore. I can even have her just melee, because man, we've used up a lot of our magic reserves. 22 minute fight, beating the shit out of a Tomberry King. I'm okay with this, though. There's a lot of quests and stuff we missed. I don't know how much we'll put off and how much we'll actually do before the end. I kind of want to do some stuff. I want us to go see the UFO. I'll have to pull up a map. And I want to go get the... Fat Chocobo, GF. Yeah. Hmm. Let's just cast this on uh, Squall. Because he should be dying very soon. Oh, 
also, man, look at how beautiful Blizzaga looks. That is amazing. Achievement unlocked. Todd Berry. They're still one of my favorite enemies. Oh, hey. Oh, it's okay. Tom Berry, join your party. Man, if real talk, if we got a Tom Berry as a party member, he could, he would replace everyone. I'd be fine with that royal crown. Okay. Tom Berry. Oh, I'm so happy to have you. So, Tom Berry, tell me about yourself. Oh. Look at this. Honestly, I don't care that much about the carbuncles. Ever. Like, oh, they're cute. Tom Berry, look at him. Cuter to me. So, hmm. GF Haggle received discounts at shops. Easier to buy rare items. Interesting. Level down. Huh, level up. Evasion luck. That's cool. Wow, 50% luck already. Uh, we have somebody with that. Restores HP walking. Cactar has that. We have that. Okay. Let us get you boost right away, because that always helps. I want to say boost is probably like a 20% summon rate, right off the bat. It's pretty good. He doesn't have boost. I gotta see if there's a boost scroll we can use. But yeah. But here, I'll show you. Like, Leviathan, we got rid of some of his abilities. And, fun fact, some of them actually got new abilities when they didn't have any like magic boost for Siren and Ifrit got strength boosts which I'm not gonna use but it's interesting that they actually had certain abilities that we couldn't even see or learn because we had max out abilities with them and um, he got magic 40% and I'm assuming magic 60% later it's interesting I wonder if there's a mechanic where I have to actually unlearn abilities to learn new ones. I doubt it, but, dude, we got fucking time, Mary Kay. And we also got a shit ton of uh, full lives, so that's good. I would like to auto for defense. Full life does, okay. And I would like to just put in um, silence in here. I don't care about any of the other stuff. Because that's the only ability I really don't like. Oh, and we, um, we did grind a little bit. Wow. Max HP. Cool. Um, we grinded at the Islands of Heaven and Hell. He doesn't. Awkward. Um, to get them a few levels, mostly uh, Zal and Irving, so that they actually get caught up. So now they're caught up with everybody else. Which is good. And man, they've got some good amounts of life now. Oh, uh, I don't care about that. Honestly, I'd rather have just one full 100% resistance than a little bit of everything. I don't know, like, the, the having a little bit of uh, every elemental defense. It's like, whatever. I'd rather absorb one attack than freaking Look at that health. Then... Right, ability. Then, like get hit for half the damage. Okay, I take a thousand instead of two thousand. Or I could absorb two thousand frickin' health. Hmm. I would rather have encounter none. So we're gonna go right to the place we gotta go. I don't know if there's anywhere else I need to go. We have this for Zell, which I'm giving him these so every time he levels up he gets a little bit more stats. Just to help Zell get along. Because we gave him no love for a good while. He was a cool character and he got no love. But yeah, so we gotta visit um, Chocobo Forest. Like, there's one like here I know that we went to. And then there's one like up here, I think. And one down here? Somewhere? I don't know. I'll have to pull up the map and we'll do that at some point. I know like the UFO, we already seen him like here. Around here, and we saw him up here before, and I think we have to see him up here somewhere. Oh, and the heavens of he hell and heaven are 
This is Hell's Island. If you go here, there's level 100 monsters. And I think it's here? This island right here? There's level 100 monsters there. There's no real difference from what I've seen. They're both identical monsters on both islands, as far as I know. I went there, I fought Marlboro, or Marlboros and Ochos. Ochu? Yeah. I can handle the Ochos, I could not handle the freaking Marlboros. That is for sure. I haven't actually checked out Tears Point. I did go to a shop and buy some stuff. And by buy some stuff, I mean uh, use all our money, basically. So let's see, can we visit here? Oh. Also, let me save just so we don't have to spend 30 minutes freaking beating the Tonberry King again. And we're on just three, so we're not at the very end yet. But we're getting close. So. Hmm. So this is supposedly where all the monsters fell? A life. It's still useful. Man, 13 lives. I like that. That is something I really like. Hmm. So this is interesting to me because I have no lore knowledge of any of this. Like these statues are the reason why. What is this? A Solomon ring. Interesting. What is the purpose of you? What do you do? See yourself ring, of course. Yeah, thanks for all the data. Um, a reflect drop point. Um, I'll give it to kiss this. Just in case. I honestly don't know all the magic that is useful. I thought Tornado was like the best. Tornado and Meltdown were like the best uh, health upgrades we got. Apparently full life's better. I'm glad I actually spent the time to draw all that. Oh. Apparently I'm seeing a spot from the top left, like right below that foot, so that's not good. Hmm. Might have to call the episode short today. We'll see. I can soldier on for now. To be honest, what I can do is I can actually just watch my smaller side monitor. Not seeing it there. Go to the main screen, I see it up there. It might be my um, computer screen, but I've tested it before and it was irrelevant, my tests, so not sure. So it should be over here. This place, okay. So this is where they took Renoa. Hmm. So we still have to deal with Renoa and Ultimecia. Stop. Ah, uh, nobody needs that. I know, it's so annoying when I have to go and check. But... Where do I have stops? There. Page 3. You do not. Okay. Alright, I'll take some. Uh, split. That's a lot easier way to deal with it. I don't mind too much not having stop maxed out. You want to see your comrade off? I'll make an exception. Go ahead. Well, thank you. You're so kind. I appreciate it very much. What the fuck are you guys doing? Squall, I'm not okay with you allowing this to happen. What are you doing here? This is a restricted area. To do what I should have done earlier. I'll never know unless I do it. Oh? What are you talking about? I know what I want and what I want to do. There's still a chance I'm not gonna look back. I'm taking Renoa with me. What? You must be joking. It's too late. Yeah, you show him. Go, Squall. We got you. Oh, shit. Squall, no. You stop this girl. Oh, shit. Squall. Do something. Please. 
Or no, hold on. I'll get you out in a second. Let's punch it harder. What am I supposed to do? Come on. Punch it harder like like freaking Zell, man. Or use your sword. Cryogenics? Interesting. Squall, don't. I'm a sorceress. I don't care. Renella, Renella. Renella and Squall. Let's go. Oh. Sorry, guys. We're leaving. Oh. Is that Bison? From earlier in the city? Real talk. Hmm. That man. No. Yo. Hmm. Do you want to play cards? Hmm. Okay. Do you want to play cards? Hmm. All right. I'll just leave. I've seen him before. He's very, he's a large man. I mean, look at his stature compared to the centuries. He's twice their size. Was that Ward? What's wrong, Renoa? I'm just a little embarrassed. Why? I was so set on staying in Esther. Y you were going to be frozen, girl. There was no, uh, you enjoying your time there. But then... When you guys rescued me, I made it so... It made me so happy, and... No need to be embarrassed. Yeah, happy is good. Thanks, everybody. Squall, you're awfully quiet. What's up? I have a lot on my mind. The dark rooting type. Don't you know? An expert Squall observer. Ten points to Zell. He's thinking, what do we do now? Blah, blah, blah. If you think and worry too much, everything tends to turn bad. True. Can I move? No. Squall, why don't we just picture a brighter future? Whatever. But seriously, what do we do from here? I'm not really sure, but don't we have to do something about that lunatic Pandora and Esther? After all, the Galbadians are controlling it, which means Cypher is behind all of this too. Cypher is Ultimecia's puppet, it would seem. Yeah, and that Ultimecia. We can't let that sorceress from the future mess up our world. Let's go kick her ass. We're seeds. We're here to destroy sorceresses, right? Except you, Renault. So, come on. Uh, sorry. Oh, I was right on that one. So, Squall, where are we going? Mm. Can we go to the orphanage you guys were talking about in Tarby? Oh, that's really sweet. The place is in shambles. There's nothing to see there. I want to stay away from places where there were, are lots of people. Alright, I'm a sorceress. If Ultimisia possesses me again, she'll make me kiss Squall. That's horrible. Let's go ahead to Ida's house. Okay. This is interesting development. Also, before we do go there... I want to save, and I want to use that Solomon's ring. I know, we saved like twice already in this episode. I'm curious. I'm wondering if it's an item like the um, magic lamp. K 
can't summon GF. Interesting. Oh, I forgot to look up, uh... Oh, we have chef. We have chef's list. Oh, right. I didn't junction you to anybody. Who do you like, Tomberry? You like Selfie the most. Okay, that's a little awkward. Um, of Skull and Kistis, who you like? You like Kistis. Man. Kistis just gets all the good GFs. Like, look at this. He's still got those three from very early on, but they're very cool. She's got these four. Which, you know what, I'm okay with this, because at the end of the day, each of them would have a bad-ass GF that ignores most of the rules of the game. For example, Cactar and Diablos. Hmm. I would give you evasion. I don't need luck. Let's for... Luck is for criticals, and I don't know if magic can critical. So, it's irrelevant. I need to look up how we uh, actually get get Odin. Because we beat him, we should have gotten him after the fight, I would think. Unless there's some secondary bullshit, like I have to go to this place, or I have to freaking use an item or go to a certain place and there's a certain thing that's a little bit different in his tower of bullshit. I don't know. Either way, eh. Is there a way to go down? No, it does not seem like it's... Oh god. Wait. No, hmm. Because why is just going to the ship? I tried all the other buttons, so, no. <gasps> Big Wolf. Oh, I haven't seen you in so long. No, come back. There's a pathway over here? What? Wow. That's really nice. Oh. Sorry. About what? Oh, is this about my ring? I'm sure you want to be alone with her. So, Squall. I never thought you were the, uh, romantic... You know what? I'll go get Renoa. Squall, you stay right here. But Zell, I... Okay. Zell's so dense sometimes. So, what should I talk about when Renoa gets here? Nothing about the sorceress, huh? I'm sure she's trying not to think about it. Who cares if she's a sorceress, right? You don't care either, do you? Renoa is just Renoa. So, uh, yo. Oh, he can stay. You haven't seen him in like forever. What'll become of me? I don't know. Don't worry about it. There have been many good sorceresses. Ida was one. You can be like her. But. He does still... I can't guarantee anything, either if Ultimecia possesses me again. You saw me. She controlled me in outer space and made me break Adele's seal. I know it was pretty cool, actually. What might happen next time? What if I end up doing... Will I end up fighting everyone? Scary thought, isn't it? It's okay. We'll put on the kid gloves. Even if you end up as the world's enemy, Squall, I'll, I'll be your knight. If I fall under Ultimecia's control again, Seed will come kill me, right? And the leader of Seed is you, Squall. Squall's sword will pierce my heart. I guess it's okay if it's you, Squall. Nobody else, though. Squall, if that ever happens... That's enough. I'll never do anything like that. The sorceress I'm after is not you, Renoa. My, em my enemy is the sorceress from the future, Ultimecia. 
Altamisia lives in the future and possesses me. She uses my body as her extension in this world. How? How will you save me? I'll come up with something. There's gotta be a way. Mm. Don't worry, trust me. I trust you. Well, until you find a way, maybe. Maybe I should stay in Esther at that memorial. Wouldn't that be better? Nah, that'd be pointless. I'll just end up going after you again. Renoa, just stay close to me. Oh? Those words. What? That's what started everything. What are you talking about? You don't remember? Something I said? Oh, well, just forget it. All right. No, it, it's because of the GF. That's why I forgot. See, Squirrel, that's a very shitty excuse for something. Yeah, see, that's just an excuse. Feeling better? Yeah. Can I tell you a story? Oh, please. I had a dream. It was a scary dream. We make a promise. We promise to see shooting stars together. I get dressed up and put on your ring. But the thing is, I can't remember where I'm supposed to meet you. I start to panic. I really want to see you, Squall, but I don't know where to go. I start running through the mountains, the desert, the plains, through Timber, Valam, and Galbadia. Hmm. When I realize I can't run any longer, I... I just want to see you so badly. So I scream, Scroll, where are you? And everyone starts yelling at me. And then I woke up and I was crying. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have to say anything. I just felt like I had to tell you. It was just a dream, huh? Doesn't mean anything. Don't worry about it. I guess you're right. How about this? I'll be here. Kiss the girl. Why? The reason why you couldn't find me was because we haven't promised yet. Promised? I'll be waiting for you. If you come here, you'll find me. I promise. I'll be here too. It's a promise. Thanks, Squall. Next time, we'll meet for sure. Well, hey, hey. Um, sorry to interrupt, but uh, it's an emergency. Sal, get the fuck out. I'm gonna kiss the girl. We got radio contract from Esther's presidential palace. Sal, serious kiss the girl moment. They have a plan to defeat Ultimicia. They want to hire seeds to execute it. Zell, can I kiss the girl? Get the fuck out. Might be a trap to get Renoa back in Esther. Oh, and uh, the guy we spoke to, his name is... His name's Kiros. Could he be that Kiros? Hmm. Kiros is in Esther's presidential palace. He wants to hire us? Alright, let's go. Um... Oh, Zell's with me. Is my party set like this? Oh, it is. Hmm. Do I bring Team Waifu? I think I bring Team Waifu. No offense, Kistis. You're honestly, I would be okay if Kistis was the main love interest. But man. Zell came up pretty close with his frickin' ability to play cards. No one else has played cards with us, have they? Oh, hey, Ida. What's up? Squall. You were always looking for Alona with tears in your eyes. Uh, yeah, about that. Um, hmm? You wanna play a card game? Oh, okay, that's probably for the best. You kick my ass every time I play you. 
I think I had to fight her like 10 times before um, Squall. Yep, sorry. There is something I must tell you. It's about me. Oh. Is this kind of personal? I mean, I can... Uh... Yes, I believe it was 13 years ago. Oh, okay. This is when my bet. This is when my story begins. I first became a sorceress when I was a child, and once again, 13 years ago. Interesting. That day, right here, I encountered a sorceress on the verge of death. Interesting. I received her power of my own will. The sorceress was an entity of fear for my children. Interesting. I cannot let her get to them, but this turned out to be the beginning of my painful story. Hmm. At this very minute, my bitter story has ended. I now understand there is an end, no matter how painful it may be. Therefore, Squall, you must fight to the end, even though it may bring tragedy to others, foreshadowing as hell. It will be now go squall but I'm gonna ignore you and I'm just gonna go in the house so Sid are you over here I was thinking about this I was like so Renault's kind of like Ida and Sid's kind of like squall so you are Renault forgive me I've changed your life drastically I don't think it could have been helped I don't blame you for what happened. So instead, please advise me. Renoa, that is so goddamn mature and grown up. I respect the hell out of that decision. I've been looking up to you as a wiser, experienced sorceress. Renoa. Let me advise you a way to clear your anxiety about being a sorceress. It is to find yourself a knight. A knight will always be there by your side to protect you. Since long past, almost all sorcerers have been hand in hand with a knight. The sorcerers without a knight, in many cases, end up being end up using their powers in evil ways. I have heard Sorceress Adele did not have a knight. More than likely, Sorceress Ultimicia of the future does not have one either. Do you have a knight? Yes, I do. He's with me now, and he is doing his best to protect me. A knight will present you with peace of mind. He will protect your spirit. So, Renoa, you must find yourself a knight. Aww. What is it? I found an apprentice knight. That is so goddamn cute. Sid, you want to talk? Once you could, once you've come to a decision, fall through it with it and give it your all, so you have no regrets. Man, that confused the hell out of my brain. Sorry. However, if you're undecided and unsure, stay the, that way and fall through with your indecision. Interesting. Being caught up in the middle is the worst. It can be. It very much can be. But I don't know. Some people thrive in conflict. Some people uh, hate it and will run from it. It's just different people. That's all the world is, really. Lots of different people. Lots of different ways of seeing things and doing things. And also experiencing things. And that is the, the beauty and tragedy of it. More so. So, next episode we'll go to Esther. Yeah, we'll go here. I'll see where o how we get Odin, if there's more to do to get Odin, and I'll look up, the problem is I'll have to have the map open, and it'll basically be this but on my other screen, so I don't actually know if we're recording or not. So I'll have to pull it up after we start recording, and that could screw up the audio, and there's a face right here that looks like a monkey face going, oh. But um, that's one of the kind of sucky parts about doing YouTube stuff is it shouldn't. It more than likely doesn't 99% of the time, but if it's that 1% of the time, oh fuck. 
then the entire episode's kind of ruined. And that's the not fun part about dealing with that sort of stuff. Is that uh, there's no real way to avoid that other than doing multiple save systems like I've been doing. So, you know. That's also a good reason why I do that. Just so you know. But anyway. I will see you guys in the next episode, and I hope you guys are enjoying your day or enjoying Final Fantasy as much as I am. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.